Chelsea, it's mom. I love you and I want to help you get through your cosmetology senior exam. So we are working through your exam um, study manual and we are now into chapter 14 which is called hair cutting. A good haircut begins with an understanding of the head form. The areas of the head where the surface of the head changes are reference points. In the hair cutting procedure, Reference points are used to design lines. The widest part of the head, also known as the crest area, is the parietal ridge. The bone that protrudes at the base of the skull is the occipital bone. The highest point at the top of the head is the apex. The reference point that signals a change in head shape from flat to round or vice versa is the four corners. The area at the back of the neck below the occipital bone is the nape area. The triangle section that begins at the apex and ends at the frontal corners is the fringe area. A thin continuous mark that is used throughout a haircut is called a line. The space between two lines or surfaces that intersect at a given point is an angle. The straight lines used to build weight or create a one length or low elevation haircut are horizontal lines. The straight lines used to remove weight or create graduated layers are vertical lines. The haircutting techniques used diagonal lines to create fullness and blend long layers into short layers, layers is called beveling. For control during haircutting, the hair is divided into uniform working areas called sections. The angle or degree at which a subsection of hair is held while cutting is elevation. Elevating the hair at 90 degrees or higher during the haircut results in the removal of weight or layering of hair. The angle at which the fingers are held when performing a haircut is the cutting line. The first section cut when creating a shape is the guideline. The outer line of a haircut is referred to as the perimeter. The guideline used when creating layers or a graduated cut is a traveling guideline. The technique, is, the technique of combing hair away from its natural falling position rather than straight out of the head toward a guideline is undercutting. A conversation where the stylist offers professional advice and suggestions to the client is the suggestion process. For a client with a long face, the stylist would recommend a style that adds fullness and length. To compensate for shrinkage associated with curly hair, the stylist should allow for shrinkage of one half to two inches. The direction that hair grows from the scalp into a natural falling position is the growth pattern. The number of individual hair strands on one square inch of scalp is hair density. The hair cutting tool with large teeth set far apart designed to remove a significant amount of hair is notching shears. A small hair cutting tool used to create crisp outlines is a trimmer. The hair cutting tool used for close tapers in a scissor over comb technique is the barber comb. The hand that holds the shears, parts the hair, and cuts the hair during the cutting procedure is called the dominant hand. The technique where the comb or shears are held closed in the dominant hand is the same thing is called palming the shears. The technique used to free up the dominant cutting hand to cut a subsection is called transferring the comb. A hair cutting tool used for detailing or texturizing or an entire haircut is the straight razor. 
The term used to describe the pressure applied to hair when combing or holding a subsection is tension. When cutting straight hair to create a precision design line, use maximum tension. When cutting hair, a general rule of thumb is to stand or sit directly in front of the area you are cutting. In cutting uniform or increasing layers, the hand position most often used is cutting over the fingers. The technique of cutting below the fingers or inside the knuckles using a horizontal cutting line creates heavier graduated haircut or a one length bob. A hair cutting technique that maintains control of a subsection in regard to elevations and over direction is cutting palm to palm. When cutting below the finger to prevent cutting the soft fleshy part of the finger, avoid cutting past the second knuckle. The visual line in a haircut where the ends of the hair hang together is the weight line. A haircut achieved using a stationary guide and zero or no elevation of the hair comes to one hanging level is a blunt cut. In a gradual haircut, the most common elevation used is 45 degrees. Parting the hair in the opposite way is cut to check for precision of line and shape is cross-checking. The area of the head that has the most irregular growth patterns is the crown. In using the wide teeth of a comb when cutting, comb and section first with the fine teeth and then turn the comb around and comb with the wide teeth. In general, a razor should not be used on curly hair as it will weaken the cuticle and cause the hair to frizz. The term used to describe how hair is moved over the head is a natural distribution. When working with a razor, the ends are cut at an angle, producing a softer shape and more visible separation or feathered effect. A method of cutting or thinning hair where the fingers and shears glide along the edge of the hair to remove length is slide cutting. The scissors over comb technique uses the comb to hold the hair in place and allows cutting from the extremely short to longer lengths. The technique of removing excess bulk or cutting the effect without shortening hair length is texturizing. Vertical point cut performed with shears on the ends of hair is uh, removes less hair. Let me reread that. Vertical point cutting performed with shears on the ends of hair removes less hair. When performing the notching technique or texturizing with shears, the tips of the shears should be held two inches from the ends. Thinning hair to graduate lengths using a sliding motion with shear blades partially open a slithering. The slicing technique removes bulk and adds movement through the lengths of the hair. When performing the slicing technique over the surface of the haircut, it is best to work on dry hair. A version of the slicing technique that creates a visual separation in the hair is carving. A tool attached to clippers that cuts the hair to the exact length is length guard attachment attachment. I'm not sure if that's a typo. With a regular cutting comb, the fine shape, excuse me, with a regular cutting comb, the finer shaped teeth are geared for detailing and a wider spaced teeth are geared for combing and cutting. When using the clipper over comb technique, the length is determined by the angle of the comb. Cutting hair at the same length consistently using a 90 degree elevation produces a uniform layer. In the carving technique, to remove less hair, the scissors should be held more vertical. Clippers and trimmers should be cleaned and detachable blade and heel disinfected after each use. And that is the end of chapter 14.